Good morning, everybody. KP here. As you can see, it's dreary, rainy, real cool, like 65 degrees right now. So I figured I'd do a little cooking video today. I'm cooking cabbage and pork loin. It's a North recipe and it also includes apples. Stay tuned. As you can see, I have a cabbage here, already cut in half. I'll put this one on the side. I cut it into fours like that and add it to my crock pot with water. As you see, I already got a nice base of cabbage and water in a crock pot. Next up, I'm gonna add the, the pork loin and the apples, add some more water, and then cover it up with more cabbage and cook it like that. Here is my pre-seasoned pork loin. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an unseasoned one because it cuts out one of my steps that I do when I make this so I'm just gonna use what I got make and do it what you got right one pork loin cabbage water time now for the apples As you see, I have three apples here. You can add more if you like. But all I'm gonna do is cut them into fours. Oh, look at that, got seeds in it. Save your seeds and grow you some apple trees. You definitely want to core them. You can peel them if you want to. I don't. Not for this recipe anyway. This was not wanting to work out right. Thank you. 
Then you can climb up some more if you like. I'm just doing a little mixture of them. Then you just take your apples and put them in the crock pot. That's what it looks like so far. Guess I will add some more apples. Not sure if I'm gonna use all three of them, but I know I'll at least use at least two of them. So that's pretty much it. You just put all the ingredients together like that. You can add additional seasoning if you want. You don't have to add apples if you don't want to, or you can make it your own recipe. But cook it for six hours on low on, on high i mean or you can cook it on low for longer however you want to do it but i know i normally cook it on a low setting but i kind of started late on this one today so i'm gonna do it on uh, the high setting stay tuned for part two